This time I am focusing on two very unique practices. One is called Rudra Yaga, another one is called Sri Chakra Puja. And these two practices are preceded by another unique practice called the practice of 64 yoginis. Let me start from here. 64 yoginis represent the entire range of our personality, entire range of our thoughts, feelings, emotions, entire range of everything that is happening inside us. Similarly, these 64 yoginis represent the entire range of the forces which govern, guide and provide nourishment to this wonderful, beautiful world around us. Together, these 64 yoginis are the forces which are constantly involved in making sure that we remain happy, healthy, peaceful, prosperous and energetic. So one set of practice is dedicated to acknowledge and identifying these vast range of the forces in 64 categories, propitiate them, awaken them. Then after that, then comes two major practice, one is Rudra Yaga. This practice is something to awaken that energetic, vibrant, dynamic part of ourselves and connect that dynamic, vibrant, radiant part of ourselves with the forces in the external world which add to, which contribute to our dynamism, our radiance, make us become energetic, infuse us with his strength, vitality and stamina and thereby help us overcome our sloth, inertia, fear, dullness, you know, and stupefaction, you know. That is one set. But that is too vibrant. Many, to, for, to, for, uh, to many of us, it may be too scary that all of a sudden so many vibrant, you know, kind of shakti inside us is become, has become active. So, the next one that is called Sri Chakra Puja. That is very loving, very gentle, very kind, motherly kind of Shakti. That covers very vast range of forces too. But in a but it also has capacity to rearrange everything in a manner that which attribute that which contributes to the uh, awakening of as well as giving a shape to the tender, gentle, loving, kind, compassionate aspect of ourselves. When we put together these two different kinds of practices, that is, quote, Rudra Yaga and uh, Sri Chakra Puja, then it means like we have brought together and we have created a link, we have created a bridge between the masculine aspect of ourselves, feminine aspect of energetic aspect of ourselves and gentle and kind and tender aspect of ourselves, Sooner, uh, solar aspect of ourselves and the lunar aspect of ourselves and, <coughs> and we gain ability not only to just go back and forth and take advantage of these two forces but rather even but also to really be able to assimilate these two aspects of our personality so that we can become a fully grown, fully uh, developed human being. And it is on the firm foundation of this fully grown humanness, we are able to start our spiritual quest that is discovering our own inner divinity. It is only when all the diversities, all the fragment forces 
have found their rightful place in us and outside us. We are free from all obstacles. Before that, so much of our time and energy goes into just uh, fighting with the obstacles. And there's hardly any time and energy is left to, the, to really accomplish our actual quest. So the question to your uh, answer to your question is that this is what these practices are. Definitely, these practices are somewhat complex, but if we have five days together, we can really make it the, do the practice in a manner that there is no complexity in it. It is understandable. And uh, so first day, that's why I'm putting aside you know, three, four hours just to explain the whole system. Then here comes the actual practice. Then at the end of the day, again, then we go and reflect back what we just did. And next day again, why explain what we are going to do and how we'll do it and why are we going to do it. And then we you know, do the practice itself. And at the end of the practice, then again, we sit down and I relate. And of course, by that time, our major course of ritual driven uh, program is over and then I translate everything back into our personal context of yoga meditation and spirituality and that's what the tantric meditation uh, uh, component of our this retreat is all about.